for Taurus, please. I got a new deck, so I'm excited. Um, two more shuffles, and then we can get started. Okay, so I think that's good enough. So I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing past energy, current energy, and future energy, okay? This is still a general love reading. Okay, so past energy, please, for Taurus. Past energy for Taurus. The Ace of Swords. Past energy for Taurus, please. Um, the Five of Wands in reverse. This one to come out. The Emperor, okay. And now the current energy, please. The Six of Wands in Reverse. The Page of Wands in Reverse. Current Energy, one more card. Okay, that's the current, that's... Um, the future energy. Okay, the four of cups in reverse. And the ten of coins in reverse. Okay, what's going on here? So this is the future energy. Okay. And then, from the bottom, the seven of swords. For the shared mutual, um, or the overall energy of the reading. So Seven of Swords talks about some sort of, someone's being self-deceptive here. So when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding. Or someone is choosing to walk away temporarily. But uh, it's kind of being deceptive in a manner. Um, could be self-deceptive, okay? So for the... Past energy, you got the Ace of Swords, the Five of Wands in reverse, and the Emperor. Uh, I feel like someone in the past got tired of suppressing how they felt, okay, with the Five of Wands in reverse, or suppressing their desires. And they wanted to speak their truth, or they wanted to take action. Okay. It could be related to your person with the Emperor card, but that could also be you as well, because that also represents um, Taurus. But I feel like this person's also holding on to a sword as well, if you can see. So that could have been you. Um, tired of suppressing your desires wanting clarity, wanting to speak the truth. So when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of that, but someone seemed to be tired of suppressing their inner desires in this connection. And um, someone definitely has a desire to take action, okay? Um, it could possibly be you um, wanting to seek clarity or wanting the truth in this situation, standing your ground, okay? as the emperor but when i clarify that i'll get a better understanding of that situation right there so for the current energy though it's a six of wands in reverse um the page of wands in reverse and the king of swords okay so it seems like someone is having difficulty um taking any action in this situation so there's no forward momentum with the six of wands in reverse and with the Page of Wands in reverse, there's no um, 
there's no message or brand new beginning. So especially if someone was um, expecting some sort of message of some sort, a passionate message, um, there seems to be some difficulty there. Um, someone's having difficulty taking action in that direction. Okay. Uh, and then for the future energy, I see a lot of confusion as well with the two of wands in reverse. Um, but at the same time, having difficulty letting go of this connection with the four of cups in reverse. And with the ten of coins in reverse, um, it seems like, you know, um, some, someone's not really looking at this situation in a very positive light or there's just... Just seems like there's a lot of confusion on how to attain, attain this, you know, Ten of Pentacles or this abundance. Um, possibly in this connection. But when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of that, okay? But I want to um, clarify the Seven of Swords first, okay? When I clarify, we'll get a better understanding of... Which card belongs to whom, okay? But this seems like there's a lot of confusion here. But yet somebody does not want to let go of this connection as well with the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so... want to clarify the seven of swords okay like what's that all about so clarifying the seven of swords please okay. too many cards clarify the seven of swords please the knight of swords in reverse um Four of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so uh, I feel like somebody um, may have wanted to detach from this connection somehow. So they did it in a very self-deceptive manner. Uh, they made it seem like they were taking action elsewhere when in fact they were not with the Knight of Swords in reverse to clarify the Seven of Swords. Um, they just sort of walked away, temporarily detached themselves from this connection, okay? Um, with the Four of Pentacles in reverse as well. Um, I, I feel like it was, um, it seems like somebody running away from the way they feel or walk like not really running away but more so doing it in a self-deceptive manner so they really didn't run away from how they felt they just physically took themselves from one location to another because as you can see in this car this person's looking behind them right so i feel like this was very self-deceptive to the person that did this and like it's possible that it could be your person um you could have been dealing with an air sign um doesn't necessarily have to be, but it's just someone that really, um, they made it seem like they were just um, taking action elsewhere. Or that they completely, they were completely letting go, but I, I feel like they didn't with the, so as you can see, you get the Four of Pentacles in reverse here and the Four of Cups here. So someone's having difficulty letting go of this connection. So it's possible your person could be somewhat confused. Um, so let's clarify the Ace of Swords. For the past energy. So what's the Ace of Swords doing here? The Ace of Wands in reverse. So it seems like it's possible that you're wanting to seek clarity or the truth in the situation. And because there hasn't been any sort of passionate new beginning. Uh, let me clarify that further. 
Okay, oh wow, Ace of Swords to clarify the Ace of Swords. So this is definitely talking about um, wanting the truth or wanting clarity. Uh, possibly somebody walking away from this connection um, with the Eight of Cups, okay? Um, I feel like you're stand this is your energy now that um, standing in your ground, uh, wanting to seek clarity and the truth about a situation. Possibly, especially if your person walked away. So just keep in mind that energies can be reversed. Um, but this is what I'm picking up on. And for the Ace of Swords, to clarify the Ace of Swords, this is some determination on your part. Uh, you're very fixated on getting clarity here. Especially if there wasn't a passionate new beginning uh, with this person that you're, you, you could be looking at. Or you could be focusing on. So this is the past energy. So let's clarify the Four of Wands in reverse, okay? So definitely a disconnect here with the Four of Wands in reverse. Um, a special connection. Could possibly be been a marriage. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, the Lovers. Yeah, very special connection. And I feel like somebody was very confused with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, I feel like it could have been your person that sort of was being self-deceptive to themselves, um, sort of um, denying their feelings here, okay? Um, and they made it seem like they were walking away permanently, but when in fact they were not, they're, they're having difficulty letting go. Um, and with the Two of Wands in reverse for the future energy, it seems like there's a lot of confusion with your person. Again, with the Two of Pentacles in reverse as well, right? To clarify the Four of Wands. And then the Lovers to clear. So this is a very special connection, okay? Um, possibly a soul connection that caused your person a lot of confusion. Um, let's clarify your energy here with the Emperor card. The sun in reverse. Yeah, you wanted clarity in this situation. Um, it brought in a lot of unhappiness, especially if your person walked away. Um, justice in reverse. Yeah, justice wasn't brought to the situation. Um, you definitely wanted to see clarity here, um, the truth. And... Uh, because this person seemed to have detached themselves from this connection. But I can tell you energetically they did not. Uh, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, um, they just made it seem like they did. I feel like this connection left your person confused. So let's clarify the Six of Wands in reverse for the current energy. Judgment. So someone made a decision here, or... And it was not to move forward in this connection. Again, I feel like this was your person's energy. Um, this card is very interesting, though. It's like... I feel like divine forces had their um, say in the situation. So... Um, where you want to seek clarity, right? And the truth. I feel like it wasn't the right time uh, with the Ace of Wands in reverse. That Aces talk about timing as well. And I feel like uh, your person could not move forward in this connection for a reason. And I feel like... Um, I feel it could very well have been... Um, Could very well have not been the right time okay so let me further clarify that the tower wow um wow judgment and the tower i i, I feel like this decision really um to walk away um really did a number on your person it's like they didn't want to, but they went against how they felt 
Um, so instead of moving forward in this connection, which happens to be a very special connection with the Four of Wands and Reverse and the Lovers card, their confusion sort of, um, their decision, so with the Judgment card brought in the Tower. So I feel like your person was not ha happy with the decision uh, at all. Um, but I feel like there's some fear tied to your person here. Um, the moon. Yeah, your your person hid how they felt um, with the moon card here. And I don't believe they've told you with the page of wands in reverse that um, how, how they genuinely feel. The nine of swords in reverse. Yeah. To clarify the page of wands. It's like they didn't want to go there uh, with the Nine of Swords in reverse. They really didn't want to dig deep. Uh, I don't think they... Um, but I, I feel like with them not... Um, their decision to sort of walk away or um, not move forward in this connection really did a number on them, okay, with the Tower. It sort of like um, threw their life upside down. That's why it's always, uh, you know, it's always better to, I feel like this person not um, telling you how they felt um, did a number on them. Um, that's why I always advise that, you know, if you have feelings for someone, try to get it off your shoulders. Wow, the King of Swords is clarified by the King of Swords in reverse. So this is interesting, you know, like the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords. And now the King of Swords is clarified by the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like your person um, is very confused, very conflicted. At one point, they want to take action. Um, they want to um, tell you how they feel. But then they backtrack, okay, with the King of Swords in reverse. It's like they're having difficulty making up their mind. And I really feel like them not moving forward in this connection, I feel like there's some sort of regret here. Um, and I feel like there's some fear tied to this situation as well. So your person is highly confused. Um, let me get, let me clarify this King of Swords in reverse. So this is current energy, okay? What your person is feeling right now. I'm picking up on a lot, uh, like, on your person's energy in this reading. It's like you wanted the truth, you wanted clarity, right? Because this person detached themselves from this connection. Um, and you stood firmly in your ground. And this person, denying how they felt, sort of, um, really did not work in your person's favor. They brought in the tower for them. Five of Cups, like a sense of loss here. Um, your person's really not in a good place for the decision that they made um, in this situation, for not moving forward or telling you how they truly feel with the Moon card. Um, they kept that hidden, and it's like they didn't want to go there um, with the Nine of Swords in reverse. But they're actually feeling it. They're feeling the loss. Okay. Um, their confusion, or they're definitely feeling the loss of this connection. So let's clarify the two of wands in reverse so like this is a future energy and i feel like there's still a lot of confusion here on your person's side the high priestess so they're not listening to their intuition the page of pentacles um You could be dealing with someone that's younger than you, or they could be, um, I feel like you're a lot more mature than your person is as the emperor. Um, you know, this talks about a very mature f person, um, someone that's emotionally mature, very stable. I feel like your person though is, could be emotionally immature. So there's some fear tied to, um, the situation. Like they're extremely confused about, How they feel I, I feel like they know that they um there are feelings there but i feel like they're not going they don't want to go there um uh 
it's, it's leaving them there's some fear attached to this um they're not really listening to their intuition and so i feel like it's revolving around this page of pentacles so this this you know this offer um of commitment or something new something fresh i wonder if your person is another earth sign but doesn't necessarily have to be but if they're they could also be an air sign if they're really stuck in their head about this okay so it's kind of making them somewhat slow um the world in reverse yeah definitely some unfinished unfin business here okay so the justice card in reverse for the past energy in the world um the person is definitely having difficulty letting go of this connection okay so again, this is a future her, her phone card. So definitely a special connection here. Um, your person is unable to let go of this connection, possibly you as well, because there's some unfinished business here. I, I feel like that's the case with the world card in reverse. Um, the hair phone card is also your card here. So I feel like it's related to you. Um, so let's clarify the 10 of coins in reverse or the 10 of pentacles. The Three of Swords, I feel like your person's decision has really caused them a lot of heartbreak uh, or pain. Um, it really didn't work in their favor. The Chariot, yeah, them not moving forward in this connection really backfired. Um, I'm really picking up on your person's energy in this one. Um, and I feel like it's related to you. Um, you're standing firmly in your power as the Emperor, okay? Uh, you're aware that justice has not been brought to this situation. You sort of want the truth. You want clarity, especially if this person, um, you know, detached themselves from this connection. And I feel like it was more not in a deceptive manner towards you, but more as of a deceptive manner towards themselves. Okay. Um, they were really not um, one, running away from this connection, even though it may have seemed like they were. Um, but I feel like there was a lot of confusion and fear tied to it. And I feel like with the decision that they made with the judgment card, clarifying the six of wands to not move forward in this connection, I, I feel like it threw your person's life, um, or, you know, their, 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 through, through basically caused a lot of, um, emotional turmoil is what I see. There could be possibly some regret for them not opening up about how they feel or not telling you with the page of wands in reverse. And I feel like there's some fear attached to that. And your your person just doesn't want to go there. But like I said, them being confused to um, whether to take action or not, um, they're definitely feeling the loss here. And, and they could very well be focusing on the negative parts of... So if your person's very fear, um, you know, f motivated by fear here... Um, so making decisions based on fear, um, they're definitely focusing on the negative as opposed to the two cups behind them. Okay, you could be dealing with an air sign, so somebody that's very up in their head, very analytical in this situation. Or you could be dealing with another um, earth sign as well. But somebody that's kind of, um, could be emotionally immature. They're not really listening to their intuition. So I feel like this person is struggling. But like I said, for the future energy, there's still some unfinished business here. Um, but right now, I don't see your person really making any effort or sort of forward momentum here. I feel like they're dwelling on the pain. Okay? So with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Swords, I feel like they're dwell dwell dwelling on the pain here. Okay? So let's get some three more cards to further clarify the overall reading. wish there could be some change in this situation but your person's very much stuck in their head about this and really focusing on the negative here 
and I see you as being some sort of somewhat tired of having to suppress how you feel, given the fact that you want uh, clarity in this situation. The Ten of Pentacles again in reverse. Hmm. The King of Pentacles. Okay, that could be your energy there. And the Queen of Cups in reverse. I, I feel like you could be um, sensing that th this is not really turning out for the positive um, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And I feel like it's tied to your energy. Um, and you may very well uh, decide to sort of walk away or take your cup of love away. Especially if it doesn't work in your favor. I feel like with the Emperor card though, you're standing in your ground. Uh, you definitely want the truth. You want clarity and you want nothing less. And I, I feel like if this doesn't bring in abundance or bring you bring in happiness, you're definitely going to look um, elsewhere. And with the Queen of Cups in reverse, um, sort of, you know, take away your cup of love in this situation. Okay, so that's, uh, I guess that's all I can say. I feel like your person is um, has brought on these feelings in you because they have been self-deceptive to themselves so i really feel like they're not they're not choosing to to really um you know courageously pursue this connection or and i feel like they regret um not moving forward here but i i feel like their decision was very uh fear um fear motivated motivated by fear And I think they have a, a sense of focusing on the negative here or the loss, which could be preventing them from taking any sort of action. I, I feel like energetically they do want to take action, but um, they tend to backtrack, especially if they get caught up in their head in this situation. Um, definitely not listening to their intuition. But it seems like a very special connection. There's some unfinished business here. But I feel like your person has to work through some sort of, you know, you may get tired of waiting. Um, this is what I'm seeing. Um, especially if they're not able to let go of this sort of, you know, three of swords energy of um, and this chariot in reverse, not being able to move forward in this connection. So sort of holding on to pain. And you may very well get tired of it and just be like, you know, you deserve better and you may just take away your cup of love in this situation. Okay, so I got, uh, I hope you got a better insight into the situation that you have with your person. I'm trying out a different format, um, sort of trying to get more to the point, um, you know what I mean, of the situation as opposed to um, dragging it out. But um, I'll see you next time. Okay, Taurus, take care now.